Apocalypse. What is up guys and gals, gals and guys, Space Unicorn here bringing some hot frag action. Today guys, we're going to be going to Crystal and we're going to be talking about her buff and if she is now, once again, the meta killer that she was before. So before we end the video, do me a huge favor, please like, comment, and subscribe. Your support is genuinely appreciated and I cannot do it without you. Now let's go over the Crystal buff. The Crystal buff was gun slow effect plus 10% gun ability plus 15% and ability is 0.5 seconds time with pushback effect now. Which is interesting, so we're going to see how that plays out. Now as you guys know, I played a lot of Crystal, and um, I got pretty good with her. So if I can figure out and I can feel that difference and I feel like she is viable again, I will tell you guys. We're going to get into matches though. You guys know how the drill is. Alright, Crystal, where are you? It looks like he is running his Stella, go figure. I feel like everybody runs this card. Hit him with the slow, hit him with the slow again. Oh, he's got a full-blown push going. Okay. Come on, get there. Down off the field. Down off the field. Thank you. Trusting my defense. And we're going to push this play. So that was nice. Um, I am. There's definitely a nice difference whenever those cards are slowed down. It makes this card much easier to hit those shots with those pesty shots that really, really matter whenever you're trying to eliminate characters with this card. That is a good thing to have. Um, now... Does that move her into the discussion of being incredibly useful again? Maybe. That's that's kind of the point we're at with it. Is she the card that she used to be? I'm very happy that they increased her damage. That made me so sad when they took away her damage. It was like, bro, why? But hey, we got a win. Uh, I'm very, like I said, not bad, not too shabby. I definitely saw a damage increase and that slow effect was noticeable. I don't think the ultimate ability was really affected by the change. Um, personally, uh, I think that, honestly, I like knockback because I like to get a little bit of space between myself and the, uh, the um, character that I am trying to kill because sometimes frags weird and the shot originates from the middle of the character you're playing instead of from the sides and that can lead to a lot of frustration whenever you splash on somebody and all of a sudden you're pointing your shots in the middle but instead of coming out of your hand where the weapon is it's coming out to the left so you're missing your shots that was a big thing with desper back in beta that i really got frustrated with and if crystal used to have the same thing so a little bit of knockback makes all the difference in the world with that as you're able to just go to the head and you put it on target um so that, that's that's good now let's see here um crystal come here crystal we're gonna push over let's go charge dun, 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 dun. oh crystal bruh there we go get rid of you eh. got rid of you tell you what it is nice that not camera angle not breaking itself that's super nice um we're gonna fly here again. Let's see what we got going on back here. Get rid of the meatball man. Shoot the tower a bunch. What are you looking at, Takeshi? Why are you looking at me sideways? Andromita. Get rid of Andromita. <laughs> it's Cypher. Get rid of him. Get him out of there. And another crystal. Get her. Charge. We're doing all right, guys. We're doing all right. I'll tell you what, Marco Polo, Meatball Man, hashtag Pasta Guy, Pasta Guy did. Oh yes, oh yes, baby. Get her off the field, bro. Why you gotta be so mean, Cipher? Why do you gotta hack me like that? It's so dirty. I'm hurt. I'm offended. <laughs> Let's grab our uni here, and we're gonna come over here, and we're just gonna say. Why, hello, Takeshi. How are you today? There was a Takeshi there a second ago and a crystal. I don't know what happened to him, though. No idea. They just disappeared, like, poofed. Did you guys see what happened to the um, Takeshi? Get him off the field. Man, it feels good to have that little bit of damage back. I know that's such a little thing, guys, but, like, whenever you're playing a character like this, that little bit of damage makes all the difference in the world. It moves them from being uneffective to effective and I'm very very happy to have that damage back now I think honestly 
This buff feels really good, and I think they need to leave her as is. Do not nerf her again. Let her alone. Let her play. She is viable right now. At least in the last two games, I would say that, honestly, this card is pesty, and she fits the bill for what we need right now, and that is a ranged character. A ranged character that does good damage and is able to contest those really annoying picks that your opponent will pick, such as the Stella. You stun that Stella with the splash, you one-shot her. It's that simple. It's, it's one of those things where whenever you have a card like this, positioning and placement of your shots and all that, cards like this are incredibly effective. And you're seeing that honestly with Zap Girl right now. You're seeing that Zap Girl is a little very, very effective, just like I said she was gonna be. And it's like, yeah, I, I love that. 130 damage to the head. That's just, that just feels right. That really does. It just feels right. Definitely just saw that thing heal. That's new. Yeah, that little stun. The stun with the uh, knockback is kind of nice. It was so much easier to, to lock onto that target a little bit, you know? Little things like that, guys, make all the difference in the world. That little bit of separation you create. Bro, get the protection bubble off of him. Gone. Who's next? Von Doom's trying to hit the revive. He didn't get it. It's all good. You want to go? Why are you always hiding? Man, that's slow effect. That was actually noticeable. You notice when we hit him there, he just slowed down so much. Come here. Get him off the field. Come over here. Grab a wee bit of health. Float over here to the tower. We're just going to shoot it a few times. Yeah, I, I love it. I love the fact that I can play her again. Oh my goodness, it feels so good. I know it's such a simple thing, guys. It's just, whenever they nerfed the damage this card could do, it was so hard. Dang. Notification got me. Notification got me a little bit there. We're going to wait here. We're going to talk, though. Um, whenever they nerfed her, she felt like it really, really hurt because, like, I loved the card. She was so much fun to play. And the design for the card is fantastic. It's one of my personal favorite all-time design frag cards. Um, and the fact that whenever they took that away and you could play her, but it wasn't going to be nearly as effective as it was, um, was kind of sad. And now that she's, in a way, back and you're able to enjoy her again, it's, it's pretty awesome. Oh, no, the camera glitches back. I take back everything. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the first time we triggered the camera glitch, but it, it, this is a, that's a tough glitch to play through. I thought that was fixed. Um, I'll send that to the devs tomorrow uh, to see what they say, because they told me that that was fixed, and that was definitely not fixed. Ugh. But yeah, little things like that, guys, make all the difference in the world whenever you have a car like this. So I'm going to say the Stella buff is a win. She is A tier, high A tier, low S tier, finally, where she belongs again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe, and I will see you legends next time. Bye-bye, everybody.